Hey friends, welcome back to another video. My name is Ed and I'm a data science and AI student studying at the University of Liverpool. And today we're going to be um, making an app. Well, not really. Um, we're going to be trying to. So I had this idea for an app which I wanted to try um, to make basically. Even though it's, it's nothing new, don't worry. There's no groundbreaking things towards it. It's just because I basically want to be an Apple fanboy and use Swift. Um, so we're going to try and make an app in Swift, um, in Xcode which required me to delete pretty much everything off my laptop and to install Xcode and then re-download everything. Um, but yeah, that's the plan. So, give you a, a brief explanation. We'll see how this goes. Um, so the the concept behind the app is literally a, um, a to-do list app. It's not very exciting, um, but, but yeah, no, I think it is. Um, basically, I'm gonna try and make it vibey. Um, and the idea behind it, as I will show you in some pictures, drawings, which are currently being drawn, is that um, I'm going to have, the, the concept behind it is, you can only have three tasks, and whenever you tick off a task, so you remove it for the day, um, there's a monstera plant at the bottom of your screen, effectively, which grows a little bit, and it's sort of the leaves get more holes in the more tasks you tick off. Um, yeah. And then eventually you could have a, a jungle. Some could say I'm copying forest, but a jungle of monsters depending on how many tasks you've done. Um, but I want to make it more of a an experience rather than just a to-do list app. So I think it just could be quite fun, really, um, and quite vibey. Um, yeah, so that's what I want to make. Welcome back. This is the second attempt at filming um, the section. Not that anyone cares. So we'll probably edit this out. However, here we go. So. The concept behind the app, I'm going to originally call it the, well, in my project, it's known as the Monstera To Do. Um, and the idea behind it is imagine here's your phone screen. And at the top here, it says today. Um, then you'd have three boxes for three tasks which you could do in that day. Now, I only want three tasks because it will make my life so much easier. And there's probably a study out there somewhere which says that you should only focus on three tasks a day. So that's why we're gonna focus on that. So say in the top one you had laundry, the second one you had message, somebody, um, and the third one you had code. Well at the bottom of your screen each day, you start with a, a little tiny monstera plant with two leaves. And so the idea is that the, um, the plant will grow, so I think I've shown. So as you sort of show another phone screen on the right, as you tick off tasks, say you only have message left because you've done you've done laundry and codes, you just need to message someone, you'll have a, a much larger Monstera plant by this point in time. If I can draw Monsteras quickly and, <laughs> well. Um, so I think the the combination of the the vibey color palette and this growing a monster each day depending on how many tasks you make you um do is quite a good idea basically um i'm fully copying the forest app if any of you know what that is um and basically i was scrolling through the apps all the day and i saw the mons no sorry the um moleskin to do to do app or task app um and i was like that looks very vibey and then I enjoy forest and so sort of the the combination of both of them together just seemed to work so this would be like your main screen um, each day and this wouldn't change it'd be pretty static um, however each time you logged into the app in the morning we'll build that with this screen here I'd want it to say sort of good morning or good afternoon or whatever say Edward and then sort of like this thing called momentum on chrome i think that says what would you like to do what would you like to focus on today um dot, dot, dot. and then here you'd write down your three tasks um and ideally at this point in time it would ask you if say if you had this task left over from the day before would you want to continue this task um or is it no longer a priority basically and you could take yes or no um and I really want this screen here to be particularly vibey. Um, this sounds bad. With sort of maybe music behind it. Sort of like Alto's Adventure or something where you've got birds chirping um, 
that's the, the theory anyway but <clears throat> this is my hope for this green and then similar to copying a forest the more to do's you have you can end up with jungle basically <laughs> instead of forest so imagine these are all monstera plants and depending on the timeline that you wanted you could see how many monsteras you have however this is far in the future and actually the main aspect of the app which i want is this part and then move on to this bit so whilst we're here <clears throat> excuse me i should take a sip of my tea um today we've got vanilla ruibius ruibus um courtesy of leaf in liverpool it's pretty tasty makes me think of my cousin's house fun fact um yeah, so if we move over the page, what I like about this um, idea which I've had is I've had a couple in the past, and they're probably pretty rubbish, and they sort of leapfrog the beginner stages and go straight onto the advanced stages. So what I like about this is we're going to wrap my hand underneath here, underneath my tripod. Um, so what I like about this idea in particular over other ones is that there's there's sort of a, a strict time well not strict timeline but there's a a way you can do stuff so the first stage today would be actually let's put timeline up here the first stage today would be wireframing and that's what i'm going to do in the video today um and then i want to build the basic functionality of the app So the basic functionality is that's drawn the picture on the side is literally your home screen with your, your bars. I don't want any Monstera plants or anything currently. I just want some nice color palette, have the main thing sorted. And then once I've done this, I want to integrate the idea of the Monstera. Well, more heavily anyway. Um, so then we will have the the Monstera drawings, so I'm going to have to do some drawing at this point in time. Um, <clears throat> either that or get someone to draw them for me. Though I, I fancy my chances. So this is where I want to integrate the Monstera as you take off a task. And then from that I'd want to make the home screen. So the what would you like to focus on today screen. Um, as I feel like I'll have to... What will I have to do? Well... I'll have some sort of integration where you'll probably just tap on the boxes first of all um, in order to change the task to what you want that day um, and then it will reset each day so maybe that's a good idea to start with but then we want to make the home screen and then from this from the home screen we'll have most of the core aspects actually of the app and the main thing I want to make after that is probably the um, is the forest <laughs> is the forest the jungle as I call it <clears throat> so then we'll make the jungle um, which hopefully will be very cool and then I, I had this idea that sort of like sort of like in forest you could buy plant pots etc um, however I can't really be bothered because I think it will just be a bit sad out um, however it would be cool if I could make lots of plant pots um, or design lots design a few maybe so you can have different plant pots within your sort of house plant place um, yeah <clears throat> So that's currently the, the timeline for this app. So since you saw the last clip, some time has passed, um, approximately a week, um, where to be honest, I haven't made much progress. Um, I made a lot of progress near the time and I'll show you what that is now. Um, so if we head into the, oh, I've got to find where it is in my new notion now. <laughs> Here we go. So you'll see here in um, Notion that I've made a design for it basically and originally this was the design you probably saw vaguely in the time lapse you've just seen um, I've actually had a new idea for this and so basically I found a load of colors which I really liked 
and I didn't want to just scrap them. So I'm going to make them into different moods, I think. Um, so the first one is sort of a blue mood. So as you can see, it's fairly minimal. Um, Similar with the green mood and the red mood. Um, I wasn't sure if I was going to do um, like actually say the mood or just have like red mood, green mood, blue mood. Um, and you're probably thinking, Ed, where's the Monstera going to go? Well, my thought was have it like this originally. And actually the spare space up here is where the Monstera can grow into. So I think that would be, that'd be pretty cool. Um, yeah, so that's the design. So in the last week since I um, last updated you, there's been some changes. More that I had a bit of a um, realisation that I can't spell, if you see my notion. Um, and that I've had a bit of a thought and that um, I didn't really have the time. So in order to do this uh, project, I was going to be doing a, um, a module from Stanford and Swift because it was free online on YouTube, um, which seemed like a really good module. The issue was um, I've sort of discovered I haven't really got any time to do it. And also my laptop was kind of failing to do Xcode. Um, I should probably prioritize other projects. So this is a currently a standalone episode, even though it was going to be a um, continual thing. Um, however, it will continue in the future. As you'll see in my projects up here, it's currently in the, the focusing on no. <laughs> But that might come back in the future when I've um, got more projects in probably about half a year time, I'm thinking. Um, yeah, so stick around to see when that'll happen. Um, yeah, thank you for watching the video. Um, I realise this end bit's a bit weird. Um, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.